today, I'm going to talk to you about one word. We've all heard this word countless times, but never truly stop to think about it. That word is family. We all have one in many shapes or forms, but how often have you thought about that word? After all, it is literally just a word, an arbitrary collection of sounds and noises that somehow holds meaning in our brain. This word led to me being up here today, ready to tell a room full of strangers the story of my mother, the hope to reveal her past, and how through this I learnt the true meaning of family. So, now for a little context. My mum, as a baby, was adopted. Now you don't need to feel bad for her. Mum had a happy, caring childhood with a loving, caring family. But when her father died of cancer in the 80s, he told her that her father, her biological father, had been a German engineer and her mother was from New Zealand. And the seeds of curiosity were planted. Who were they? Why did they come here? A few years later, those seeds sprouted and mum decided to apply for a birth certificate. But there was a veto put on it. Her birth mother had left a statement saying that her family had never found out about it and they hoped they never would. And that was that. Years passed and mum found out nothing more about her biological family. With the advancing field of genetic, genetics, there was a sudden demand for genomes. So mum submitted hers. As a bit of a side thing, they gave back your ancestry report. German, Polish, Eastern European, British. Sort of confirming that mysterious German engineer part. And when we returned home from the bitter cold of the Baltics earlier this year, Mum suddenly declared that she was going to find out about her heritage. The who, what, when, where and why they moved across Europe during such a turbulent time of history. Now it must be noted that this quest was born out of curiosity, not desperation. Nonetheless, the question still remained. By knowing more about her family, would she know more about herself? Now for a quick history lesson. We all know a little bit about German-Polish relations during World War II. They were not good, and that is an understatement. We also know that East Germany and West Germany were divided in 1953. And the East Germans were not allowed to travel, so we could deduce he must have been from West Germany. An email comes in from Dresden saying that they had a match on a DNA website, but the lady didn't know where mum fit into the picture. Awkward. Nonetheless, mum still fills her in, and she confirms that he must have, gone, must have gotten over to West Germany, but they were all in East Germany and didn't know what the connection could be. It's a dead end. Then an email comes in from Prague, another match. This lady was just excited to have another DNA match because they thought that every single relative had been wiped out in the war. Think about that. Imagine the innumerable separations and lives lost that occurred during World War II. Just to demonstrate the degree that families were fractured, one week mum swears she was in the Schindler family and next, SS officers. That's a bit of disparity. Suddenly, Legislation changed regarding adoption, and mum found herself entitled to the birth certificate. I'll apply, she decides, reasoning that her father's name will solve this mystery once and for all. Mum had already trawled through genealo genealogy websites, looking at ship records and random lists of travelling German engineers. She had Facebook stalked people with even the closest family resemblance. Here's an example of just how bad it got. I'm supposed to look like him. I don't see it. Three months of slow government paperwork later and the birth certificate finally arrives. Our family breathes a collective sigh of relief as mum was becoming a little bit of a nuisance to some poor German families online. And 
We crowd around. She opens it up and nothing. Just a blank space. No Hans, Siegfried or Manfred to be found. Only the mother's name who still doesn't wish to be contacted. This lady holds all the answers, holds that mysterious name. Simple really, contact her and solve this mystery once and for all. And yet my mother won't. Firstly, she respects her right to privacy, but secondly, she realised she didn't require this information to feel whole. She always had been. Now you could view this as a defeat. Mum spent trawling through ship records and looking at photos to no avail. But hidden, under those, hidden underneath those ship records and those photos and the echoes of the past lies that single word. Family. She had one. Always had. Perhaps not bound by blood, but certainly by bonds stronger than them. The desperate desire to reconcile with the turmoil of the past had been replaced with a peace that comes with understanding where you're comfortable in the journey that is life. Because the biggest thing that I took away from this was not the difficulty of international bureaucracy, but the true meaning of family. Thanks to the kindness of a couple in the 60s, Mum's quest was born out of curiosity, not desperation. My auntie isn't related to me, but she will always be my auntie. My grandma is not my blood relative, but she is and always will be my grandma. At the end of the day, when push comes to shove, family is not the descendants of a common ancestor, but who you care about. Family's a feeling, a sense of belonging, and more than just an arbitrary collection of sounds and noises. So mum, I'd like to thank you for teaching me that journey, that message. I can only hope I've passed it on to all of you today. Thank you.